Hi, welcome to Continuous Focus. This time I'd like to explain how I back up and store photos um, on the go without taking a laptop. Um, may not be ideal for everybody, but uh, we have a big trip coming up later this year and I really don't want to take lots of kit. Um, and I now have a 15 inch laptop and I'd rather leave that home where it's safe but still be able to back up my kit. So one of the things that I've seen online is the NAR box. Now a NAR box is an uh, almost indestructible hard drive with loads of ports in it that acts as a Wi-Fi hub that you can use to edit footage, store films, etc. Et it's very clever, lots of people backed it on Kickstarter, there's a new one coming later in 2018, but it's very expensive for the size of hard drive you get and to be perfectly honest, um, I thought there could be or should be other solutions out there and thankfully I was correct. So what is my solution if I'm not taking um, a laptop with me when I travel? It's fairly simple. It involves a RAV Power 3, I think I forgot the name. So this is a RAV Power 3. Um, this is quite a hefty battery, but more importantly, it has an SD card reader this side. It has a wireless a wired LAN cable connection this side and a USB port. So you can use this to charge your batteries, but the other thing you can do is you can use this as a Wi-Fi hub. You can extend a wired connection to Wi-Fi, so you could use this to transmit things when you're in a hotel room that doesn't have Wi-Fi, etc. But more importantly, it allows you to connect your phone, your iPad, a laptop, whichever you want. In my case, it's my Pixel. Plug in an SD card and then plug in a hard drive in the bottom, a USB hard drive on the bottom or a stick and then use the Wi-Fi to um, control and transfer the pictures from one to the other and then you can also use this Wi-Fi connection to take those photos off your SD card and put them onto your device or Lightroom etc. So additionally to, to this um, You'll need obviously an SD card with some photographs on it <clears throat> um, and then a USB stick or a hard drive. So this is a traditional over the shelf, uh, I think this is a Toshiba hard drive. This is great, there's nothing wrong with this. Um, this is a traditional hard drive and I think it's a terabyte and I think for a terabyte traditional hard drive this was um, I don't know, 180 pounds possibly. Um, does the job, nice and light, compact, but it's a physical moving thing. So this, as well as a laptop with a hard drive, could break and the, the disc could scratch, etc, etc. So it's not ideal. So what I did was I bought an internal SSD, solid state hard drive. So it's got no moving parts. It's just like your phone, etc. I bought an internal one, uh, a 500 gig one for, I think it was £85. I spent a fiver on a case, which came with a USB 3 connection. So for £85, okay, it's half the size of the over-the-shelf one. But I have something that has no moving parts. I can put it in a fairly rugged case and it backs up my photos. Um, and this is incredibly light and much lighter than a laptop. So what I'd like to show you um, is how I use the RAV power to get my pictures from my SD card onto my hard drive using my Android phone. Okay, so this is how I set things up and please excuse me because I haven't done one of these videos before so uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> so this is the RAV power 3, okay? So fairly straightforward, you hold down the button couple of seconds tells you how far it's charged and then it boots up okay you can see that yeah that's working so that's doing its thing now that's that's working now I will connect my USB hard drive okay so that's that's all plugged in now this is where I go to my phone so here I am I'm now on my phone and we're using the file hub plus app now <clears throat> this is fairly straightforward you go into file folder and what it's showing me here 
is <clears throat> the contents of my phone. I don't obviously want that. I want the contents of the hard drive and the SD card which I'm going to put in. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I tried this setup when I was in Spain recently and I got it to work but it wasn't without its problems and this is quite a small company based in China who um, do a great job but the customer service was a little slow and they, English isn't their first language so I figured out how to make it work so I want to show you guys how I got it to work. So if I go into the app and go to File Hub Plus it's probably not going to work for the first reason. Um, it's because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi so if I go into Wi-Fi obviously I've set this all up already I select File Hub Plus so I'm now connected but I am still having problems getting to the drive so this isn't playing ball so here we go I've now got the login screen so this isn't working okay it says I'm connected I log in this way okay I go back to the file hub plus program you see this still seems to have a problem so what I did was I turn off mobile data the minute you turn off mobile data it works I, I don't know why they did try to explain it to me um, over the support but I couldn't quite work out why but anyway here you, I don't know if you can see it now it says USB disk so this is now everything that's on this hard drive so let me put the phone down I'm going to put the SD card in. Now you can see there's the SD card and the USB hard drive. Now I've called my USB hard drive USB hard drive just to make it easier to read when I'm doing this kind of thing but I just want to show how this works. So if I go into the SD card and I pick a, pic a folder then I just select the checkbox all the pictures I want and then I hit copy, go back the USB hard drive, find where I want to put this file, hit paste, there you go, it's transferring, done. So if I go to the hard drive now, there's my copied file, all ready to go, etc. And then I can do the same and copy the files using the local device button at the bottom and pushing the content on my phone. Now the reason I wanted to show this because I was really frustrated with this not working because it worked before I went on holiday and I couldn't work out why. We had no Wi-Fi in the apartment, just our phones. So I couldn't work out what the conflict was and the conflict is the data. So if you buy a RAV Power 3, the one thing you need to do when you're transferring files on your way is to switch the data off on your phone and then it will work and apart from that little quirk it's really handy piece of kit you can get a couple full charges out of the battery for your uh, phones etc it obviously charges any USB device you've got plugged into it so obviously it's not charging this it's powering it but this is all I need to take with me now to back up my photos to a hard drive and if I wanted I could put them on my phone add them to Lightroom and then they're also if I've got Wi-Fi connection obviously I can then automatically back up my photos to the cloud so I now have three options I have the camera I have the SD card I have the hard drive um, and I have the Lightroom uh, cloud or wherever so I could use Dropbox etc to do the same thing and I know I've always got a backup and I don't need to take a laptop and if I want to do some editing I obviously use my mobile to do the editing on the go and the rest can wait till I get back but if you want a solution that allows you to back up your pictures really easily to charge some devices etc then I highly recommend the RAV Power 3 um, I think it's a smart little device it's just that one little quirk about uh, GPS data which stops it from working maybe they'll fix it in a future software update or something I don't know I don't know if you can software update this but for me it works and I think it's a great little tool and um, I highly recommend it I'll put a link um, into the 
post so you can see it online I think it was about 34 pound UK price so you know if I lose this or damage this it's much cheaper and easier to replace than a whole laptop obviously this fits in a much smaller bag so it's much more portable of course the one thing I didn't show you was how to switch it off it's as simple as switching it on you hold your finger on this button the lights will look like they're draining And there you go, it's off. Um, obviously you can store a spare SD card in here if you wanted to keep one in your, your camera. And you, you're good to go. So that's the RAV Power 3. Great little piece of kit. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the review. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.